Well, welcome to Risky Business. I'm going to walk you through what our team built out during our 10 weeks in the lab uh, and show you some of the high level uh, things that we can do with this new tool. Uh, now keep in mind, uh, the purpose of the tool uh, is to allow underwriters the ability to set their risk tolerance and then to monitor real-time live data against that risk tolerance and produce a risk score that will help um, cover holders and underwriters start to see very quickly, um, in this case, in trucking, uh, where fleets are performing or not performing against those different data points that we're tracking. So some of the high level things I'd like to point out here, we've got a couple different views we're gonna walk through today. One is the dashboard, which we're looking at right now. And the other is the configuration, which is going to uh, be the section of the system that allows underwriters uh, to weight the data points uh, that they want to um, reflect more high uh, in the scores. Uh, so here you're seeing we're looking at a cover holder, Tip National, who's allowed us to use their data uh, during the build of this beta system, uh, their clear coverage trucking program, all the fleets. And here we can also toggle how far back we want to look at the data uh, to see what that does uh, to the different scores uh, and how it affects uh, how those fleets are performing uh, during different snapshots and periods of time. Uh, so we're going to toggle this back to the 12 months so that we're pulling less data back and forth as I go through the demo. Um, another thing that we wanted to focus on while we built out the system, and Amazon Web Services assisted us with this a lot, um, is to keep it simple. So you can see here, you can quickly toggle down into each one of these different categories and see what's driving the risk underneath without switching the screen. Um, or if you want to, you can drill down into that data and see um, exactly what's going on. So we're gonna take this DOT information because it's got a 38 score and it's a mid to high risk, drill down into the information and we can see that the violations and the inspection violations are what driving this risk. And again, we can toggle and see what's underneath and kind of identify at a quick glance uh, what is uh, causing the score to be lower. Or we can drill down into that information again and start to see which areas are performing poorly um, from a, uh, a risk perspective. So you can see here drug and alcohol uh, has some hits, load violations have some hits, and those are uh, some of the lower scores. So one of the other things that we wanted to do was make sure that it was easy to navigate. So you can see very quickly here with the click of a button, you can go back to any one of the areas that we were just in or roll all the way back up uh, to the risk categories. And one other thing uh, to point out here, as we drill down, you can start to look at um, both the pieces of equipment as well as the drivers uh, to see how each one of those are performing as well. So what we're gonna do is set this back to all fleets. And I'm gonna walk you through the configuration portion of the system, which is where uh, underwriters have the ability to set their risk tolerance on all the different data points uh, that we're tracking here. So again, very similar functionality. You've got your risk categories and then you can drop into the buckets. Um, here, same view, you can go in and start to see um, very quickly without drilling down uh, what is changing the scores. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into uh, the individual section here. And we're gonna start to move these, uh, these sliders around a little bit. So let's uh, just take this for example here and we're gonna make this and say that uh, the legal side is very important to us, um, but let's say that uh, the stuff in the um, individual section may not be as important to us. And let's now go ahead and say that uh, maybe the stuff in the financial section is not as important to us. Um, so now that we've set kind of our risk tolerance, if you will, for each of those different areas, up at the top right, you're gonna see that it has a publish changes button. So anytime anything has changed in the configuration, um, it's going to allow you to go ahead and publish those results. So we're going to drill back up here and we're going to see once we publish this, uh, what that does uh, to the risk scores now, um, as opposed to where they were set earlier. And you can see that on the individual risk score, it took it from a 50 uh, up to a 64 based on the adjustments of those sliders. And then you'll also see that this view will persist through uh, to the dashboard. Uh, so that you can see now in all those different categories based on the sliders, um, how does that risk now look um, when you um, apply the weights that we did in that, uh, that portion of the system. So that's kind of a high level overview 
of the things that we built out in the 10 weeks. We're very excited about where the tool sits today, and we're extremely excited about where we're going to head with this tool in the future.